Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's time for some Hearts of Iron 4 as Greater Fascist Finland. So, we are going to probably declare war on the Soviet Union pretty soon. We have 100,000 uh, men in our manpower pool. We have, um, I think, it's, what is that? It's like 40 divisions. Um, wow, the Soviets just moved a shit ton of troops to the south. They're coming back up now. Yeah, the Soviets are... Um... Ooh, actually, the German Reich and... and uh... Oh, never mind, never mind. <clears throat> the German Reich declared war on Norway. Sweden is still neutral. Hopefully they don't join anybody. They did take the Liberty Ethos. Um, So we'll, we'll see where that goes. I'm not training up any troops at the moment. I'm going to need my manpower. I think 40 divisions is, is quite a bit already. So let's just let's just build up a stockpile of resources for now. We will invade soon, just not not yet. I'm waiting for the right time. Most likely when the Eastern War starts and the uh, the Germans invade the USSR, that's when we will declare because the USSR will have to move most of their troops from the Mamask Peninsula, they'll move them south. That will be our time to strike. <clears throat> Treaty of Craiova. Uh, okay, it looks like Bulgaria has taken some territory from Legionnaire Romania. Yeah, I know you guys are justifying. Yeah, I know. So the USSR, they would have declared by now if we were weak, but we're not weak. We're strong, and so they haven't done it. Denmark just capitulated. Norway's probably going to be next. we got a recon company, too. You know, going for the atomic research for the um, for the research time bonus would not be a bad idea. I might actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Just so we can reach, research stuff a little faster. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Soviets are now moving more troops into this uh, these positions here. In the north, it looks like we do outnumber the enemy by quite a bit. My general feels kind of, kind of um, confident about this plan. Let's see here. Um, can I get him? Can I get any more troops? I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to get him six more, six more infantry divisions in the north. I want to kind of maybe have like 24, 24. We'll see if I'm able to do that. Let's go for the doctrine, I think. Let's go for um, either integrated support or line artillery. Hmm. Damn, line artillery, soft attack, plus 10%. Check that out right there. That's dispersed support. Improves organization and effectiveness of artillery. And this, this improves uh, support units. Overwhelming fire. Soft attack, or you get 50% soft attack for support battalions. And their organization goes up by quite a bit. I'm going to try integrated support, actually. Let's go for that. We got some political power. I'm considering changing conscription, service by requirement, getting more men, because we only have 50,000 at the moment. Um, if we declare war on the Soviet Union within the next, you know, eight months or so, nine months. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. The YouTube chat says hello. <laughs> if you guys are if you guys are watching this on the offline, YouTube chat says hello. So if you're watching this on, on YouTube during our, our stream, you'll be seeing this in 720p60. Um if you want to actually view the full offline recording, you will be able to see that in 1080p60, which you should be watching right now on YouTube. Let's go for equipment effort. We have 412,000 men in the army. 12% of our eligible core population is available for recruitment. Okay. <clears throat> We've got improved inventory equipment. Let's go for... Armor is not going to help me out too much. It's going to be 1941 pretty soon. Considering how precious manpower is, a field hospital would not be a bad idea. The trickle back and the experience loss. I mean, it might not be, you know, I mean, it might not be a bad idea to add field hospitals to our infantry divisions. Although I don't have the industry for motorized. That's the thing. I can't produce motorized. 
So that's something to keep in mind. Actually, I'm willing to pay the ahead of time penalty for this construction. I'm willing to do it. I mean, August, you know, it's only August 1940. Wow, Trotsky survives his assassination attempt. Holy shit. Wow, the Soviet Union's powerful. <clears throat> Joseph Stalin calls for crushing Finnish nationalism, death to the communists. Whoa. He's trying to justify against us. We will see how that goes for him. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's see. What's up with the Germans? So far, it looks like Fortress Europe is, is secure. Japan is uh, already in the Axis. Yeah. I I will not be joining the Axis. No, we will not. I wonder. I wonder if I declared war on Sweden. Who knows? Usually, they'll, they'll probably join the Allies. That's usually what happens. So... Just got improved computing machine. Let's go for that encryption decryption. Is it worth it? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Let's go for the improved um, computing machine. Just to see um, if I can, you know, have an edge on the uh, Soviets as far as intelligence. You know, that's that's always useful. Intelligence is always useful. We probably could use some more factories at some point or another. I don't really have the population for it though. So we're building up land forts right now in Karjala here these produce pretty quick I get about one a month so factory output plus five construction speed 71 output from 11 factories 55 wow actually I produce um, one of these every I produce a land fort every 24 days wow that's freaking quick in under a month I can produce a land fort so Wow, yeah, that's pretty good. Damn. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Outrageous claims. That's about it, actually. That's all we can do. I mean, mechanization effort is not a bad idea. But, uh, yeah, let's just hold on to our political capital for now. Well, we won't do any more national foci for a little while. The Norwegians are going to garrison their northern territories, I think. <clears throat> We still don't have enough artillery. We don't have enough support equipment. Let's go ahead and uh, deploy these men, though. Let's give these guys to uh, the northern front. And now we wait. It's October 1940. We are ready for this war. We need the Germans to declare war on the USSR, and that's it. Then we can uh, we can make our push. Um, How is our... The artillery production really isn't that great. I think um, I should move these military factories to the top. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, that's about all we can produce, you know? That's about all we can produce for now. Uh, we, we wait. Now we wait. We It's it's already November 1940, so we just got to wait for the war to start. And then I can um, probably invade Romansk. And then we can just send some troops down here. We could hopefully take Leningrad. And then we'll make the push for Moscow. The Germans will most likely um, come, come in here into the Baltic and also here in the south. So, we'll have to, I don't think they'll make it as far as Stalingrad or anything like that, though. I remember last time I did this campaign, I had to do it myself. It's funny, I was on scraping the barrel, and then I had all of these national spirits, and actually, I ran out of manpower. <laughs> that's how That's how stiff a resistance the, uh, the Soviets put up. It's pretty crazy. Um, considering that I don't have artillery, though, this might not be the best of plans. I don't know if I should be doing this, but let's exer exercise the troops just a little bit. I don't think the Soviets will invade. I mean, even if they do, we're at the ready, so. We got a modified government. I can get either more conscription. Let's see here. Chief of the Air Force, Chief of the Navy, tank designers, or perhaps something along the lines of here. Limited exports might not be a bad idea. I mean, I don't really have that many resources anyway. I'm going to go ahead and let's do service by requirement. It is going to affect our industry a little bit, but I think the 10% manpower is going to be um, it's going to be pretty cool. I got a question in the YouTube chat. 
Uh, one of my viewers is suggesting or is thinking about getting Hearts of Iron 4, and so he wants to know whether or not you should pick up the Field Marshal. Um, the Field Marshal Edition or the Cadet Edition? My answer to that would be, if you are a huge Hearts of Iron fan, I think the Field Marshal Edition is right up your alley if you want to pay that cost. Um, but I think if you're if you're on the border about Hearts of Iron 4 or you have not played a Hearts of Iron game before, I think the Cadet Edition will be just fine. That's my opinion, though. Because um, at the end of the day, you're the only one who can make you know the choice about your economic decisions. Let's just at least get these guys from green to trained up, hopefully. We just got encryption. That's good. What am I looking for now? Uh, 1941, we can do some industrial research. Let's do it. Uh, let's see here. We're about to we're about to hopefully go to war. Let's see what's up with the Germans. War with the USSR. Oh shit! All right, boys, let's get ready for this. Let's make sure these guys are all trained up and ready to go. These guys are also ready to go. The Soviets have pulled all of their troops out of Murmansk. Let's do it. One hundred twenty-five days is justified. Three months. Let's do it. Let's prepare for this. All right, boys, it's going to be time to take on the USSR as Finland. Let's get ready. We have 255,000 men available for recruitment. We have some political power. We have uh, ideological fanaticism. So if we ever get pushed back this far into our core territory, we have amazing... Oh, wow, the German Reich declared war on Poland. Or declared war on the Soviet Union. Holy shit, they are early, man. January 1941. They historically invaded in June. They are incredibly early. Damn. I still I still have a couple months until um until I can invade. Uh I invaded May 1941. Okay, so we have some time. We have some time to prepare. Alright. I probably will hire a, a field marshal at some point because once once the fronts are all consolidated. Um, once the fronts are all consolidated, we'll want to merge the fronts together and just make one singular push uh, against the Soviets. That's what we're going to want to do. We have uh, some surplus of inventory equipment. Support equipment is, is quite necessary for sure. Yeah, our need is filled for now. That's going to go down, but we will acquire these resources here in Murmansk and also in uh, Onega. So we'll make some we'll make some good progress here. We just got atomic research. Let's go for that uh, assembly line production. The Soviets have actually pulled up quite a few divisions up here. I'm actually very surprised that they have this many troops. They usually, when I, when I did this run last time, they didn't have this many men. We'll want to take Leningrad for sure. They usually don't fortify Leningrad that much. Most of our divisions are incredibly under strength because of the artillery need. Yeah, we need a lot of artillery. Holy shit. Might as well just get some more um, improved artillery in the inventory equipment too. We just got construction four. Let's go for the excavation. Okay, so the Axis is invading. I can't see what troops they have. They probably have quite a bit, though. There's going to be a huge, huge war over there. The Soviets have pulled quite a few troops out of here into the north. There's a lot of men up here. There was not this much when I when I played this game last. Hmm. It's a, it's a little concerning. Um, there is a salient right here. There's a small, small opening that I can, I can make use of. I think in the south we'll be, we'll be just fine to push up, but I don't know about the north. It's a little less secure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. They don't have that many troops. They have some. Not enough probably to slow me down though. It's going to be March 1941. It's now going to be April 1941. We shall be ready for the glorious invasion. Patience is always a virtue. 
Let's see, no national foci. <clears throat> I don't really need the national foci right now. We have 35 factories. Ooh. Mechanization. Uh, I, I mean, aviation and naval probably would not be a bad idea, but... I mean, it, you know, what navy do we need anyway? We don't even have the resources for a navy. It won't matter. We have 412,000 men in the field. So that's good. I'm trying to focus primarily on reinforcement. Regimental combat teams, 100 days for that doctrine research. Excellent work. Excellent, excellent. When are we done with this justification? We will be invading on the 16th of May, 1941. How are the Germans doing? It looks like they're really not making that much progress at all. It's been three months of war already. How are they doing against... Uh, is? Oh yeah, the Soviet Union is at war with Japan. Japan looks to be actually making some, some pushes out of Manchuria. Okay. Sweden is um, still neutral. <clears throat> All right, guys. It's 6th of May, 7th of May, 1941. 8th of May, 1941. Let's get ready for this. I have confidence in the Finnish army. There we go. There's our justification. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. In the next episode, we go to war with the Soviet Union. Thank you so much.